Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about a feature which Power BI released in the month of April 2023, which will let you edit your Power BI report while you are on Power BI service. So for example, I have published this particular report to Power BI service. So right now we are on Power BI service under my workspace MI tutorials. I have published this particular report. So let's click on this particular report now and you will see that there is an edit option which will let you edit. However, when you come over here, you see all the visualization pane, the data uh, pane over here and all of that. But I don't really have an option to create a new measure or a calculated column or even play around with the relationships within my data model. So what I can now do is there is an option called as open data model. So right now this is grayed out. So to enable this, since this is still a preview feature, what you need to do is go back to your workspace. And if you see the new layout of your workspace, you can go to workspace setting and under Power BI over here, click on general and check this box which says users can edit data models in the Power BI service. Remember that this is a preview feature. Now that we have enabled this option, let's go back to our report, which is sales new. And now when I click on the edit button, you will see that we have the option as open data model. So let's click on open data model. This will open in a new tab. You will notice that this has directly taken us into our uh, model view and one thing that you will have to keep in mind here is that whatever changes that you make will be permanently and automatically saved into this particular report. Since this is still a preview feature, I believe that Power BI will add some version control or undo features wherein which will let you go back to the uh, report without having to automatically save the changes that you have made to the report. So over here, now we can play around the relationships. Over here, let's make some changes. So I have one too many relationship over here and the cross filter direction is single. Let's change this to both and click on confirm. And now it is validating and it is making that change. And now you can see that it has changed the cross filter direction to both. And likewise, I can also create a relationship uh, between my sales table and the calendar table. I have my order date. I can simply drag and drop and create a relationship with, within my calendar table. And now you can see that the relationship, new relationship has been created. Likewise, I can come over here to my table and create a new measure or a new column based on my requirement. I can simply come here, click on new measure and start creating my new measure. Let's say I want to calculate uh, some of my sales amount or my unit uh, sold. I can simply come over here and call this as units sold and click on confirm and you will see that we've now created a new measure within the power bi service itself so as you can see you can do most of the things within the power bi service now and one of the benefit that i can also see here is that let's say you've created a data model and published this to the power bi service and now you can share this with your colleagues in your organization and wherein multiple people can work together on this particular report if they have the read and write access to this particular report. I'll quickly show you another feature over here where it which says new report. So when you click on new report over here, what it will do is it will create a blank report with these exactly same data set that you have in your report. And now you can start building the report over here. So let's create a column chart over here. I'm going to click on column chart and let me bring in country from my sales table over here. So if you remember, we created a new measure called as unit sold, which is appearing over here. I can simply click on this, bring in the new measure that we created and also add in data labels. This is exactly what we do in our Power BI uh, desktop, but similar things or the same things can be done here in the Power BI service as well. So there are also options over here wherein you can change the properties of a particular uh, column or a measure. For example, if I want to change the properties of the unit, so I can simply expand the properties section over here, go to the format section and make changes to this particular uh, properties of this particular measure. I can change this to currency, date, decimal, percentage, etc. based on whatever your requirements are. So one thing to note here is I don't really have an option to uh, open the report into Power Query Editor wherein you can make a lot more changes but since this is still a preview feature maybe we will see this in future. Another feature that you have within Power BI service is your RLS feature wherein you can manage your security roles within the Power BI service itself. Over here you can create new roles and you can manage 
who can view the data which is published in your data set. So these are the new features which are available uh, within the Power BI service which will let you edit your data model. So let me know in the comment section how do you like this particular new feature and if you will be using this at your workplace. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.